ought to be satisfied. Welcome to our friends and family. Man. We pray that you might stay with us throughout the fullness of this day. We're, we're, we're not going to hold you long. We're going to give you a word this morning. A, amen. A physical word. A, a spiritual word. Amen. Yes. Then we're going to feed you again on the thing, you know, rather right after this morning service. So we ask that if you got time, stay with us and just uh -huh. enjoy yourself. We're family, y'all. Yes. I said we're family. You see, a, 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 a family, amen, when you're family, uh, we try to have it all together. Amen. You see, as a family, we, we, we're in this together. Am I right about it? You see, family, family, family laugh together. Families cry together. Families celebrate together. Families support one another. Families go through hard times together. Family enjoy good times together. Family even survive storms together. Family even go to the hospital with family. Am I right? Family even put money in your pocket. Don't y'all get quiet now. I I'm just talking about we are, we are family. Amen. I tell you, something something happened up in here. Somebody said to me a long time ago, good hymnology brings on good theology, brings about good dichotomy. Can I say that again? Good hymnology brings on good theology, which in turn brings on good dichotomy. Uh, let me break it down for you. That just means good saving brings about good preaching. Ought to bring about a hallelujah. Yes, Ought to bring about a hallelujah. Good time. Yes, Real quickly, let me get this out of the way. Won't you thank Brother Maricus for that powerful message on the radio? I'm telling y'all, if y'all ain't been listening to the radio, you're missing the treat. Amen. We lining them up and knocking them down. Amen. We got Muffet's boys standing on the bed waiting for, hell yeah, waiting for the metal to hit the alley. Amen, amen. To our visitors again, thank you. Want to commend the ladies on their latest day yesterday. Uh, 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 I know you had a wonderful time amen. in the Lord. Yes. Thank Brother Russell for the teaching of the men's class on this first Sunday, as well as Sister Tina in the teaching of the latest class. Amen? Amen. 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 We're not going to hold you long again today. I, I smell some chicken. <laughs> I don't know, I can smell meatloaf. <laughs> Didn't nobody even bring none, but I smell it. <laughs> but there's a word from the Lord. If you allow me to tap into three sagacious texts in order to build this sermonic castle, the Apostle Paul, that globe trotting academy, the one who was born out of two season, the one who dropped it in the Jews' religion was zealous of the tradition of the Father, circumcised on the eighth day of the stock of Israel, of the tribe of Benjamin, a Hebrew of yes, Hebrews, that yes, touching the law, he was a Pharisee of the yes, strictest set. I talked yes, about the Apostle Paul, he was a graduate of the school of the rabbis, yes, he was a, uh, from the university of Damascus, yes, sit at the feet of the man, a pit maker by trade, yes, a lawyer by professor, yes, started not worthy for him to be in the ministry, yes, but he said, God, yes, God looked down on me. Yes, and he said, through Jesus, through God, I'll take yes, mercy. I'll take mercy. Yes, sir. I'm talking about that Apostle Paul. Yes, sir. The writer of these three texts that you see in the back of me. Yes, number one, number one, our our foundational text comes from the book of Romans. Yes, sir. Romans chapter 12 and the verse. If, I, 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 if you don't mind, let me go back and pick up verse number one. Oh, right. Romans chapter 12 and the verse number one, Paul said, And I beseech you, therefore, brother, yeah. by the mercies of God, that you present your body as a living sacrifice, yes. holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Yes. Be not conformed to this word, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. That you may prove that what is good and acceptable and perfect will uh -huh. of God. Yes, sir. For I say, 
through the grace given unto me that every man that is among you not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly. According as God has dwelt to every man the measure of faith. For as we have many members in one body, all members have not the same office. So we being many are one body in Christ. Every one members one of another. Having then gifts different according to the grace that is given unto us. And if I had time, I'd give you this laundry list of things that Paul gives to us uh, 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 by the proportion of our faith. Allow me to read the next text real quickly. First Corinthians, is that all right? Chapter 12. Beginning at verse number 14, the apostle said, uh, for the body is not one member, uh, but it's many. Y'all that's that's that. that. still with me? And, and if the foot shall say, because I am not the hand, I am not of the body, uh -huh. is it therefore not of the body? That's that. yeah. And if the ear shall say, because I am not the eye, I am not of the body, yeah. but it is therefore, is it not of the body? Uh -huh. But if the whole body were not of, was a hearing, if the whole were hearing it, where would thou be the slip? Uh -huh. yeah. Oh, I, I just need you to know that uh, in verse 12, uh -huh. where is, the body is one, uh -huh. and it had many members. Uh -huh. And all members of that one body, yes. being many are one body, yeah. so also is Christ. That's right. That's right. Well, I got to go just a little further now. Oh, Ephesians chapter 4. Yes, Paul writing to the church at Ephesus, Concerning the church, concerning the the, the, the lining up of the dots yeah, no, in the church. Yeah. Ephesians chapter 4 and the verse is number 11. Paul says, and I gave some apostles yeah. and some prophets, yeah, yes, some evangelists and some pastors and teachers. Uh -huh, yeah. For the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, yes, for the edifying of the body of Christ. Yes, Till we come into the unity of faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man. Yeah. Unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. Yeah. Yeah. From these three profound texts, I, I like to lift for a subject yeah. connecting the dots. Yeah. Connecting yes, the dots. Yes, I, I, if I could, I'd give a subtitle. Uh -huh. Building on a foundation. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If I had a little more time, I'd give another. Yeah. Amen. Uh -huh. The pieces yeah. Yeah. to the post. Y'all looking at me like he going to be up there for a long time. I promise you, I ain't going to be long. So let me hasten to my conclusion and cruise to my close. Amen. Here, here in these three texts, the Apostle Paul styled the church as a connecting dot, or as a piece of a, of a puzzle that he sets before all of the children of God. Y'all, y'all still with me? You see. Something becomes clearer in my mind when I see the dots connected. Y'all understand what I'm saying? If you have a picture of something uh, and, 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 and it is outformed in dots, hello somebody, I, I'm, I'm trying to picture a church here, and it is outformed in dots, I can see that, but it comes clearly to me when the dots well, I need some help. When the dots get connected, I can see just a little bit clearer what's trying to be shown unto me. Y'all gonna let me preach you today? This swings the family day, you know. Hey, 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 amen. And, and not only in the connecting of the dots, but if there is a puzzle, hello, somebody. The puzzle becomes clearer to me as the pieces come together in the puzzle. My dad is back there in 90, 
three, four years old, five, six, he's so he up in there. Uh -huh. uh, but daddy always used to love to uh, put together books. Uh -huh. and, 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 and I would always sneak in there and look at what he was doing and as he was teaching the puzzles together. Uh -huh. Hello, y'all. Hey, man, that increments, I go in there and I look at the puzzle and, and, and each segment that he sit down, the puzzle became a little full. Yeah. 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 But the puzzle was not always, uh, not never completed until he put the last, hello, uh, right. until he put the last piece right. in the that's puzzle. Right. Yeah. Am I right about it? Right. And, and, and so when Paul puts this puzzle together for the benefit, for the edifying of the church, it becomes clearer. Clear, huh? And I see it more right. and more. Y'all yes, still with me? Yes, I, I'm just talking about connecting yes, the dots. Yes, Paul went on to let us know that if we are to be a family, uh -huh. we got to understand and know that families love one another. Yes, right. Hello, y'all. Right. 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 In these three texts, Paul emphasizing on the building of a body. Uh -huh. I'm talking about the church.